Just hours ago, we heard a different version of events in a police interview conducted right after the shooting. Ted Wafer claims this was an accident that the gun just discharged. Listen to this. So is Wafer flip flopping straight out to Mo Ivory, attorney and radio personality? You're you're hearing two different stories. One that he had to shoot in self defense, and then right after the shooting, he says, "Well, well hold on, uh, the gun just discharged. I didn't know there was a bullet in there." Jane, it, it makes no sense at all. I mean, first I want to say who that is afraid for their life opens the door when you hear something going on outside. It just makes no sense. He has so many stories that don't line up. I shot the gun, but I didn't know it was loaded. Well, who shoots an unloaded gun? Listen, he looked through the peephole. He saw a young black woman. He got afraid and he opened the door and he shot her dead. Here we go again, an unarmed black teenager shot dead because he was afraid for his life. Brian Claypool, criminal defense attorney. Well, Mo, there's only one problem. The law in Michigan is not in this young lady's favor. The, the Castle Doctrine in Michigan, in fact, the law changed a few years ago. The burden is on the prosecution to show that this man did not have a reasonable fear that there was going to be a serious criminal attack upon him. The burden's on the prosecution, not on him. So unless this DA can step up and give us some evidence to show that a reasonable person in this man's shoes at 4.30 in the morning with pounding on the front door, pounding on the side door, would not be in reasonable fear of his life.